Well, good evening uh, to you all. Uh, thank you for turning up on this glorious day um, and, uh, and tomorrow, I think. So, uh, welcome to uh, this River Parish Council meeting. Um, apologies for absence, Andrew. I have apologies from Councillor Innes, Councillor Underhill, Councillor Jones, and Councillor Gunsey, also District Councillor Beanie, and County Councillor Richardson. Okay. Thank you. Um, number two, declarations of interest. Are there any? None. No. None? That's good. Now, <coughs> minutes of uh, previous meetings. First of all, the minutes of our last parish council meeting held on the 10th of January, um, with uh, myself in the chair and all as noted. Um, is there anything on page one that doesn't appear elsewhere on the agenda? We've got the date now for that one, haven't we? Um, yeah, I was going to bring that up. Yeah, so yeah. actually, sit there. That's fine. Um, item 91, Christian um, noted that other local events, um, but no dates or news. Do you have any update on that? Or is no, that really I for the events? I've not, I've not spotted anything else, but we'll set the date now anyway. Okay. Yeah, we don't have to I'll wait okay. until we set the date back. Yeah. Hmm. Well, it's always a good idea to uh, to just check and make sure that there's yeah. not going to be... I mean, I did contact Hawkham and Southern County York. Yeah. Well, that's it's about it, Whitfield. Yeah. Avoid each other. Yeah. And they said the other that no, they didn't come back to me at all. That's good. So nothing on their page. Okay. Um, turning over the page, um, 9C is covered by item 10 on the agenda. That's mm -hmm. the Football Foundation yes. meeting. Yes. Um, number 10, uh, that's covered by item 11. This is the River Down improvement. Um, number 11. Is covered by item 13, I think, nominations yeah. for a community award. And finally, um, this is just me, um, 13B, um, that's covered by item 12 mm -hmm. on the agenda. So, is there anything Nothing. other than that? No, no, no. Okay. No. No. Okay. Proposal? Proposed. Seconded. All in favour? Yep. Carried. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> then we've got the minutes um, of the events committee. We can just note that we don't really know. We don't, no, that's right, we just note that. So that's taken. Thank you. So, uh, anything by way of updates from the minutes? Probably not. Uh, I've only got one, but that's how I do the rec. Yeah. Yes, you have a fairly comprehensive run through for that. Oh, yeah. yeah. worry. Yeah. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Things are working better at the moment. Okay. Well, shall we um, zip on then? And uh, go to item five. Now, item five concerns um, Lynn Wright. Uh, what? I'd like to introduce to you all, and uh, welcome. Um, you all, I presume, had a, an mm -hmm. opportunity of going through Lynn's um, yeah. resume. She lives in the locality, of course, and um, been around here for quite a long time. <coughs> she seems very enthusiastic. <laughs> and, um, Various other qualities that uh, are noted here. So, um, and she seems very keen. I can uh, vouch for that. So, um, would anybody like to ask any questions? Yes. Good evening. Hello. Do, would, do you like to be called Doctor or no? Lynn. No, Lynn. That's yeah. Sorry, I didn't want to upset you anyway. No, I've yeah. already asked. Yeah. yeah, no, but I hadn't, and I don't. I'd hate to put my foot in it and say the wrong thing. <laughs> yeah, no. Obviously, you haven't read through. Absolutely wonderful. Um, uh, you're obviously an active person, 
which, which is something that we need. Um, and yeah, um, we desperately need people that will roll their sleeves up and get involved. Um, we're not a big council, um, and unfortunately, the doers, apart, I shouldn't say that, but, but we, we, we need doers, so um, welcome you on board, and um, just hope that you, you, you will roll your sleeves up um, and help us as much as is possible. Yeah, sure no, no questions. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, uh, that being the case, um, may I ask for a proposal? Yeah, a second. A seconder. Uh, we're all in favour? Yeah. You're on. Would you like to come up and join us? Oh, no. Can you make your thumbs up, please? Yes. <laughs> Did you stop the way? Stop the way. Stop the way. Stop the way. No looking back now. Um, right, so then we'll go on to item six. Um, and uh, PCSO and policing, I don't think we can deal with that one. No, no updates. No. Okay, item B. Nigel. I should just like to introduce yourself and your role. Yeah. Nigel, I'm Ken Kerr's member. social care uh, has rocketed up and uh, although the government say you can have an extra 2% on council tax to cover it and nobody really covers it. So regretfully the council tax will be going up 5%, 3% plus 2% for mm -hmm. social care. So that's the, uh, the maximum isn't it? So Beyond that you need to have have a referendum to yeah, say to right. people, do you want to put a cancer tax on me? You're not the answer to that, you know. <laughs> but, um, no, it was a very long meeting. I left home at 7 in the morning and got back at 20 to 7 at night. We did have half an hour break for a sandwich, but if you want to get one in the garage and take one with me, because there's no eating facilities at the Kennedy Hall anymore. Really? Yeah. Some reason, especially if we've got special educational needs, we'll send them this now. Um, in Kent, we've got more send children than any other county for some reason. I don't know why. 
Really? Should children who can involve special educational needs than anywhere else. But anyway, that's being looked into because that budget alone was 2.6 million over the budget last year. That money's got to be found from somewhere. Mm -hmm. Basically, KCC's uh, black hole before they started this year was 62 million. That was before they started. So mm -hmm. that's one sixty two million before anything. Well we've we've, we've had that referred to before, of course, with yeah. the uh, the buses and yeah. The yeah, the, in the budget there was no more, no new reductions in support for bus services. Any you hear of now what the bus company are doing. Yes. I'd like to point out to a resident last week. Mm. Um, as you know, we get community grants, members combine community grants. Yes. Which you can put into highways <coughs> or local charities or whatever, providing they reach the criteria. We've been, get, we've been receiving 10,000 a year. That's gone down to 3,600. Yeah. In other words, 300 a month. And you can't, like, Spend the first month your 3,600, you've got to accrue it. Yeah. Sure. Do I think worthwhile? And uh, finally, I'll change the subject, seeing as the lads are not here from the district. You will all be receiving from the electoral services people up at Upper Whitfield details of the new electoral procedures. Oh, the, the photograph. The photograph, yeah. They, they're sending things yeah. through. And uh, basically, one thing that I, no I noticed, so I rang them up, was there's no mention if you've already got a postal vote. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Didn't say what to do. But they assure me, and then they said I can pass it on to people, they assure me that if you've already got a postal vote, you don't need to reapply for one. Right. So. So they're changing the way you vote. Yeah, if you go to the polling station, you've got to take some sort of identity. It's all on the leaf. It's all on the leaf. Yeah. Passport. Passport. Yeah. Passport. 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 Yeah. Would be a bit better, so but they're fixing. Well, that's the, that's the never problem. actually that's lasting the, that long. That's the problem. It's, it's the cost of doing it. Doing it. Mm. It's the cost of doing it. What yeah. they'd like yeah. to do is take a big chunk out it's just, it's and do the lot. Yeah. It could cost about three times, four times as much. Yeah. Mm. So they just go around and. And there was that terrible accident, that amazing accident um, down near Bodium, wasn't there, in East Sussex mm. uh, last week? Oh, and, and it was a pothole mm. that uh, a lady driving a car with her children in. She saw this hole and stopped, and the vehicle oh, yeah, yeah. backed yeah. into the back of her, spun her around, and uh, something coming the other way wrote her car off. Yeah. Yeah. That's the old story, isn't it? it, it I, I would remember one of the first things I did was the back road at East Cliff. Yeah. The residents kept moaning, it was full of potholes. And so I'm very uneven and all this. So I said, okay, and I did have enough money to get it resurfaced in those days. <coughs> then they said, hey, we want a police, even a policeman look on me because people are speeding a lot. I said, well, you, you, had, you had inverted police, sleeping police. Well, we use a hole, you know. <laughs> Just um, before I yeah. throw open the yeah. um, uh, uh, sort of floor to, for any questions, I'm sure there won't be too many if you can't fence. Um, thank you for uh, notifying uh, me uh, about the um, 20 mile an hour um, uh, proposal.
for the lower road. Yeah. Uh, that's going ahead on the 6th of uh, March, as I think is fairly well known now. But um, they reckon they're going to finish it all in one day. That's what's impressed me. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yes, that's, um, that, that was raised at the last meeting, um, but we didn't have that uh, yeah. until the 18th of January. But thank you, as always, for your, uh, your communications. We're very grateful. Well, you still get the PCC ones, but you won't get the DVC ones after May. No. Yeah. Okay. So, you don't stand there again for the DVC. Mm. Now, has anybody any questions for Councillor Collar? No, I haven't. Thank you, though. Yep. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, as always, you. Nigel. Right. Very nice Thank to you. see you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Now, I believe that um, we have a, uh, something that's been sent in by one of our district councillors. Uh, yes, we do. I had a, um, an email from Brady Feeney. <coughs> services. Uh, as you are aware, due to recent cuts on commercial bus services, we have found some villages without the use of a bus. So this is a 16-seater minibus that's been put in place to keep the community connected. It will run from Elsham to Canterbury and Elsham to Dover, uh, picking up at Shepherdswell, Athorne, etc. This gets launched at the end of the month. It's really, it's only the villages that have no, yeah. no bus service. So we still don't get to Whitfield from here? No. no. Not directly. Not directly. Yes. Yeah, like yes. Have yep. you ever tried to do it indirectly? Mm. No, but, uh, but I say that it is... It takes one and a half hours. Yeah. Mm. One way. No. But we are better than some of the other villages. Yeah, yeah. 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 Right. I know, but, so if you try to but everyone goes on about the buses, but unfortunately... That is quite good for that, so but not yes. no service at all. Yep. Yes. Well, I mean, there's, there's two fundamental principles here um, that uh, have to be borne in mind, <coughs> as Councillor Collar has uh, often reminded me. One is that uh, the company, in this case Stagecoach, have to run a commercial service. And the second thing is that um, it's about the subsidies with the um, children who, who can't get to school otherwise. That's what they, um, they do, but they've had to cut down um, as part of the reductions that uh, Councillor Collar mentioned just now, e even on that. So uh, that's, that's where we stand, unfortunately. That can't be gotten out. So, is that okay with? Uh, that's it, yes. Um, this service uh, starts at the end of the month. And I'll, I'll append that to the minutes. Yes, that would be a good idea. Right then, so um, <coughs> as far as council, council, parish councillors are concerned, uh, do you wish to say anything? Ms. No, no, Mr Chairman, I will, I'm the recreation man. Right. Uh, Pauline? No, I have my help. Christian? Uh, I could just give a quick update because um, we set the date for our evening event for the coronation to the um, 6th of May. And I've ordered the, uh, the deals with the fireworks guy, so that's all in hand. Um, talking to the rugby club, they're doing a 
barbecue and bar. Had a request from somebody playing live music, but I at the moment said no to that because we have the DJ on hand. Yes. And just for our new parish council, uh, the next event meeting will be the 10th of March. We'd like to if you could come to that. Okay. And the fate of the Christmas. What time? Um, it's two o'clock. Two o'clock. Two fifteen. Two fifteen. Um, for the fate, I sent out a little email blast to um, just let people know the date and um, sent the forms to register stalls. So just wait and think. Yeah. So, so this is um, just an update for the OMS. Yeah. Then so this is for, for what's, um, what Christian's talking about is the, that we decided at the last events committee meeting um, a few weeks ago. Uh, that we were going to hold, that sort of decided to hold an event on, on the actual day of the uh, coronation at 7 o'clock, an evening event. We've done this several times over the years and they've been quite well supported. So um, this is what we're going to do again. Okay? Nigel? Yeah, just on the coronation subject, if you need a road closure, you've still got to go through the application with your head I don't think. Well, I don't think. Well, it's just at the back. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Though. It's nice to know. Do you know the deadline for that? Sorry. The deadline for that. The deadline, Nigel, was for the. Because I. Okay. Yeah. Right. Um, now we'll talk about. Um, Oh, is there nothing from the PCSA, did you? Nothing from the PCSA. Nothing. No. Okay, sorry. So, we've, um, I've got two items then under, um, under a local residence. Um, the first one is, um, <coughs> concerns um, some matters that have been raised by um, former parish councillor Sue Braley who um, mm. many of you know uh, lives down in Lower Road <coughs> in those cottages um, between the co-op and yeah. the Broad Oak and um, she's very concerned and others that live along that way about cars that park on the double yellow lines opposite for a long period of time over three hours, and sometimes without blue badges and one thing or another. Now, she's written in, um, did, was this circulated? No. no right. um, she's she's uh, been concerned about this for some time, but um, she has written to Dover District Council, um, Councillor Michael Dunn? No, it's Ma not the, it's not a councillor. Oh, I thought it was a council officer. Oh, it's a council officer, I yeah. beg your pardon. Um, but anyway, he's got a, quite a title here. Parking Operations Support Officer Parking Services. Mm -hmm. Michael Dunn. <laughs> 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 yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. You got it now. And um, he's written back to uh, Sue, um, Sue Brady. Um, saying that there's not an awful lot basically that uh, they can do about it, but um, the local police have got powers and uh, also the county council have some other powers, one thing or another. Anyway, the top and bottom word is that um, Sue uh, Brayley has uh, been in touch with us and um, she, she claims that um, cars have par been parked opposite there, which I suppose is really the obstruction oh, part of it. Um, mm. but it's got, got to go around them, it's opposite their place. And um, it's uh, sometimes without even a blue badge. It's, um, it's, it's something that's been going on a long time. But um, anyway, 
she suggested that maybe we could have something to do with a gentle reminder, such as a leaflet drop. Um, but you can put it in the Quite often, it's not the householders. It's a tradesman. It's someone that's delivering something. Um, well, it sounds but, like but I mean, three part, hours if, if, more, if you take more. coming into River, the hmm. traffic lights coming in, there's always one or two cars parked right on the lights there. Yeah. And yeah, yeah spoken yeah. to the police, and there's nothing. Mm. And, and it's so dangerous, but I don't know what we we can drop a note in everyone's door, but we um, can put it in invariably it's not the householders. Put it in the library, couldn't we? But, but if you lived there and if it was your opposite mm. neighbour, mm. I would speak to them. Mm. I'd have a word with them, not expect the parish council. I mean, the really. police can come out if it's obstruction, but they don't come out very often. No, uh. no. Well, out. we know it's like parking at the school. I mean, there's they only will. a limited. That's right, but they were out in the force the other day. Yes, yeah. Yeah. They yes, good. Yeah. They do it periodically. Yeah. You can see they do a school at a time. They can't do all of them. So, um, I mean, we always, I think, like to try and help with these sort of matters if we can, uh, if it's within our power to do it. I don't think there's anything like that. That we could point to that I can see anyway that we no, may have. Even, even if, <coughs> if they give us the house numbers mm. that they're permanently parking outside, we could possibly drop an, a simple reminder through to them a request that there's nothing we can do as a parish council we can't to enforce. That car no, the but, I, mean, I don't know what we do. Mm. Do you have any thoughts about this, Nigel? Well, I've been trying to work, work out for five actually. Um, is there actually a double yellow line there? Yes. yes. Yep. So, so, so what we're talking about they is... The DDC can't enforce it. They can, but it's finding the time or when someone's parked there to get a parking officer. It's right. Can't they? Can, can somebody have a quick phone call to them? Is that them or is that the police if it's an obstruction? If it's an obstruction, if it's a double yellow line, yeah. DDC can get with it. Right. If, it, if they're not, they can't. Right. Right. Up and mm. could, could we possibly then give to Sue Brayley that number and mm. say the next time it happens, ring that number? Mm. Yeah. No, I'm just thinking, Chairman, otherwise if she's got to ring you or me or one of us to do it, mm. it's must time. Yes. Um, if, if it's such a problem, then to me the answer would be equip her with the number that she can at least yeah. ring and she can see either how efficient they are or whether <laughs> they're <laughs> inefficient. <laughs> but Can, can somebody yeah. find out the number? Well, it's a number, number. Yeah. Oh. I'll, pass, I'll pass that over to you, and then perhaps you could um, respond. Yeah, give the Dover District one, and I'll tell them to ask us how to do services. It would be handy as well if we if we've got that number. I think it would be handy that we all have it because the office, okay. there's there's various times when yes. parking is a nightmare. Yeah. Um, it's an old council number. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So, so eight two one one nine nine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can I just? Am I allowed to add something to yeah, of to course. the parking? Yeah. Um, outside Kersney stores. Yes. On the zigzags, by the double crossing, people are always parking there on both sides. I don't know if it's been raised before, but it means that people. Going over the zebra crossing can't be seen, mm. and it's just a matter of time, I suppose. Mm. And as a resident, I have written to highways. This is the one on London Road. The one on London Road. I've written yes. to KCC, oh, and they've said, "No, it's all fine." Mm. And they've said that if people are parking on the zigzags, then it's a police matter. Mm. Mm. So I don't know if we can make a note of it because it is. Well, I think terrifying. Oh, we can certainly yeah, bear this in mind. But you see, this was one of the reasons why um, a, a pedestrian crossing, it was a long time coming. Yeah. And um, it held up the development that's now going ahead at the Railway Bell for about two years. And uh, they wanted um, that pedestrian crossing uh, right down there where the bus stop is. Or, 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 but um, 
what they've done now, they've found a way, Kent County Kent Highway has found a way of putting the crossing where it is now. Um, whereas before, they refused and to they do it. And they said, you know, they're, they're happy with it being where it is. Yeah. But unfortunately... But it affects quite Well, generally, it's everywhere the same problem, yeah. that we have this double yellow line and the zigzag, but mm. people problem. ignore it, and there's nobody to enforce that it's actually mm. being followed it. And by the yeah, time you run with them, but if they're shopping, the car's gone. They're, the car's gone. You know, 10 to 15 minutes, they're gone. Yeah. Um, yeah. So anyway, what we'll do then? So I, I found the the page, and I put it on our little yeah, chat board. You can just click it, so everybody has it. I just, yeah. I, I just put it in the WhatsApp group for us, right. and then we can... So what we'll do, we'll to reply to this, to Sue Fraley, yeah. and uh, yeah. give her the... Advice that uh, we've discussed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Going on from that one, um, I've received a copy um, in, of a letter that's been sent in to planning enforcement, uh, building control, the district councillors, um, or the chairman of the planning committee, and myself. Um, and this is from a number of, an unknown number of Dean Woodgrove residents. And this concerns uh, planning applications that were approved at 21 Dean Wood Road. Uh, the numbers were 22313 and 22784 last year. This was quite a, a comprehensive scheme. But the purpose of the complaint on these uh, aforementioned Deanwood Road residents is that it's not being done in accordance with the approved plans. Now, <clears throat> I'll pass this round. Um, I've, I've got given one. Pauline, our planning uh, guru, who's <laughs> um, um, so she's got it. I'll pass this round, but uh, you can see there that uh, various complaints mm. are made. But my, my sort of thoughts are, are as follows, that it's got an enforcement, a planning oh, enforcement okay. number. Yeah. Yeah, I'll pass it now. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's got a planning enforcement number, mm -hmm. uh, 230049. Uh, and it's really, that would mean that it's been received by planning enforcement and they will be the people that would be looking into it. Um, Never mind about anything else. Um, well that's, that, that's the building control number. What, the ENV? Where's that one? ENF. Oh, that one, no, that's the building control number. ENF 230049. We need to see where so, it is. So this is for planning enforcement to uh, sort out. Yeah. They'll be the ones. Yeah. Okay. We you can send you right, Thank you. I could send you yeah. And you've got a copy of it. Yeah. When that comes back. So. Okay. Right. Um, I think that's all from uh, members for the public. Item seven. Yeah. Can we look at um, item eight now, Pauline? Please. Um, we have no um, planning applications. I am very pleased to um, announce. I've been looking on the list that come out and there's been nothing for River. Mm -hmm. no. um, Every Friday. Yeah, they come out every Friday and we've had nothing. There haven't been that many of them. Um, apart from these other ones that have now been oh, all permission granted, haven't they? Yes, uh, two of the um, two yeah. ones that we've received um, 27 yeah. Deanwood Road, Road yeah. uh, rear roof sleep, reconfigured rear roof sleep with a pitched roof. Um, and I can't roof comment on 6A because. That's opposite me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she's got permission. They've, they've looked at the other one over there, haven't they? Sorry. What's the right by tree? That tree as well. No. That's the new. Any, any news about my tree? Which mm -hmm. tree? I have a, have a tree from. Hmm. Has it come through? Has it come first? Oh. Still hanging on to thread that tree. <laughs> Well, it hasn't, certainly haven't seen it yet. Interesting. Yeah, it's it's really cool. Cool. 
So, um, does that clear us with planning? Yes, that's, that was all there is. Thank you, Commission Chairman. I will leave you to it. Thank you very much, Councillor Collar. Always a pleasure to see you. Bye. It's nice to see you. That's half an hour. But um, as things stand at the moment, the only justification I can see um, for copying um, Uncle Tom Coffey and all, including myself, into it is that uh, we've all had um, a hand in it, haven't we? We've all sort of um, considered well, it. Well, we, we passed what we, what we said we had no comments on yes. what was originally put out. Exactly. We need to know what exactly the yeah. difference is. So um, I think uh, they just want uh, everybody to Usually know. Enforcement. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that is not right when you get planning applications and you completely ignore them and just do your own thing. That is not okay when people do that. Well, so well, that's, we, well that's, why you're one in travel, travel that's why you're supposed to. Yes. And that's absolutely unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they were blatantly ignored yes. twice the size of the... Uh, uh, they got pulled up in the end. And they got better. Yeah, yes. they got Right. Got permission. Yeah, well, they got left to put another application in yes. a retrospective. But, uh, but they and then it was approved. Yep. So, it's a okay. Right. Let's go on to item nine, which is um, with Andrew. <coughs> yeah, you've all, you've all got a copy of the latest January figures. I haven't included the bank statements with this, but what I'll do is I'll email you the scans of those. Can you? Can you finally <coughs> confirm that we are well and truly shot now of HSBC? Well, we're shot of one of the accounts. I mean, <laughs> the, uh, the um, deposit account is finally closed and the balance mm. transferred to the new account with Unity. So I now just need to go through the process, which shouldn't be, shouldn't be so difficult because there isn't as much in. Okay. Uh, one of the problems with, the, it's with closing an account is because there's so much money in it. Um, so the recreation ground uh, last month, usual costs, groundwork, cleaning, electrical supply, purchase of cleaning supplies, um, safe play, repairs and things. Um, John, uh, John Hill normally, uh, rather than hitting us with a, he hits us with a big bill every so often, yeah. rather, than, rather than what Robin does, which is gives us monthly. Monthly bills. Um, the 4G connection and refuse. Um. Just like to add, Mr. Chairman, the, the play equipment. I mean, we are really catching up with everything on that now. Um, uh, that's obviously why we've had a couple of bills on it, but we are virtually that there's nothing that's got any faults on at all. Um, we've even had the embarrassing situation the balance beam, which we thought was broken and taped up. It's apparently meant to tilt because mm -hmm. kids have got a balance on it. Um, so we've had it taped up. Parents have complained it's been taped up. But it wasn't. Yeah. Well, in fact, it wasn't broken. So it's a little bit embarrassing. But uh, yeah. yes, but we are. You know, we really are getting it on all the equipment, um, and they they put up the signs, the various signs that we need to have. They were put. That's all part of these bills. But yes, sorry, it's 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 quite a bit. But a lot of money we spent over the last two or three months on the play areas. Well, it needs to be saved. Don't want to have money no, come to us for compensation. No. Okay. Uh, and the uh, parish accounts, um, monthly handyman costs, and fake costs and things, head bed costs are starting to come in now as well. Uh, toilet hire for the fate, not for the coronation event, and then fireworks for the coronation. Um, hall hire from the Methodist Church, materials for the handyman, uh, service to his mower, 
I put that in parish rather than recreation ground because yes. it's not it doesn't it get used. Get, it does everything, yeah. It doesn't get actually get used in the recreation ground or other areas. That's quite expensive for a service from a bit. Mark. It's, it's gone up. Yes. It's not that much. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, it's a big mower. No, it's a big mower and it was due. Just as a price, it's that, not a bit of That was the biggest service it could have, yeah. but it was over, it was in need of it, yeah. It does, but as Andrew said, it's, it's worked heavily throughout the village. 5,000 miles? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, bank charges then as well, now it includes the reconciliation, which is, once again, is still not quite there. It's um, getting there. It's getting there. Yes. It's, um, I, I think the problem with, with with the balance is because I'm, because we've had three accounts for most of this year, I have to keep moving the spreadsheet around. And at some point, I think I'll put a, uh, one of the one of the uh, uh, one of the formulas has gone awry. But uh, next month, I'll be to go through the entire year as we're finishing end of March yes. financial year. So I need to go through it line by line, and I'll find where the where the difference in the balance is. Uh, so yes, so um, down from three down to two accounts, the Unity, the new Unity Bank accounts, and just the HSBC current accounts, which will be I will submit the um, closure document for that um, after immediately after with our March payments, our March standing orders have gone through, mm -hmm. so that should be closed by the end of March. Okay. Any questions for? Our clerk and proper officer. I think one little comment I will make is that after um, sometime shortly after the beginning of the new financial year, when we have the new precepts come in, we really ought to have a second account um, because the amount of money in Unity will be very high, and the, the FSC compensation is eight, whatever it is, eighty-five, eighty, eighty-five thousand. We might want to, I don't know, uh, depending on how soon we're going to use the mouse, we might want to put it somewhere where there's a return for it, but that's a discussion for yeah, a few months' pens. time. Um, um, the other, the other uh, report from um, financial, financial report is that we have now belatedly received the conclusion of our external audit. Um, it was delayed, it was, uh, I think I put it before you in July, which was after the first deadline, so it's it's been it's been sort of coming on, but it's uh, they have now signed that off, and so I have the documentation for that. Just one thing, if I could, I, I raised it last at the last meeting. The Bowls Club, oh, yeah. have they paid? Because they don't think they've paid the no, award. They they haven't. They that, have. That's quite some money, I would think. Yeah, and they're getting worried that. They've got money in their bank that they know that they've got yeah. mm -hmm. quite a... Yeah, I've still got that to do. So sorry, no, it's just, right, just that they'd reminded yeah. me, they were being honest, and said, look, you know, it's going to be a, a thousand yes. plus. Yes. It's going to be a lot of money, and they're nervous. Yeah. Um, can I just suggest, for the benefit of our new parish councillor here this evening, um, would you mind just explaining uh, about the preset? And or, or Andrew, that we have, um, we are sort of given a kind of a guide figure by the district council as to sort of um, who, what we, what they think it ought to be. It's, but then we have an opportunity as the parish council to discuss this and debate it, don't we? Um, well, I mean, the, the the figure that they give us is based on what we what we what we. Um, last year um, and then it's up to us to decide uh, what we wish to do with the preset when we want to put it up put it down leave it the same um, at the moment there is no um, the government have been saying for many years now about whether they will apply the same restrictions uh, that apply to um, local authorities but there are there are none so in effect if parish council wants to put 10 percent 20 percent whatever it, there's no legal restriction on that but obviously we're mindful of additional costs and the precept this year is being pegged at the same level as it was last year. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So you'll notice when you get uh, shortly, uh, next, next month it'll be, <coughs> you'll see that uh, the district council's gone up by 5%, the um, police and crime commissioner 
Do not always seems to sort of <laughs> fire brigade and you know, but parish council um, will be the same. No, I mean I just when Councillor Collins rang rang through the figures and five percent I think you've got you know further five percent for every household in River on their rates bill or it's about eighty eighty five pounds what band D. Yep. So you can work out if you're below that mm. or if you're but it's, below but, that. But once again it's it's some another drip in what is becoming a, a pot that's getting so full and people just can't cope. Um, so I'm pleased that we we have agreed that we will hold ours. We could have justified an increase, but we said no. Um, it's only a small money, but we are holding the precept. Um, we did it once before. Yeah, there have been times yeah. in the past where you know, we have asked for uh, a little more when we can see some expenditure um, in the forthcoming year, uh, which is justifiable um, and can be you know, accountable. Yeah, what, what we have done to offset, we we have a lease on the office in the rec now, there's an office there that pays us approximately £10,000 a year, um, and the cafe which is very close, and it is coming together very quickly off, that will give us another three, three and a half thousand, so what we're trying to do as a parish council is to use everything as sensibly as is possible and to reduce the loss on the recreation ground, it's always been a big loss. By doing this, you know, it is it is having an, an, an effect. It's more money that you've got to spend in the village. Um, you will see a fairly healthy balance. The reason for the cash in the bank, we had um, planned to convert the old changing rooms, which are virtually derelict, into a meeting room, storage, etc. And the Football Federation, said, no, you can't do that, you've got to have a changing room. If you've got football, you need a changing room. <coughs> you've got football back in there, it's junior football, the last thing they can do is to shower. So I'll, I'll bring it up in, in the rec recreation round, but that's why there's quite a large amount of money there, because um, our chairman drew up plans, got plan, well, got planning permission nearly, and then Sport England said, no, you can't do that, um, and we're fighting, yeah. but that's why we've got a very healthy bank balance, because we know, theoretically, Hopefully. this year, we're going to spend 40, 50,000, yes, um, uh, so that's why there's a healthy bank balance, so, yes, yeah, but I say, you can see, as a parish council, we are trying to use every asset we've got sensibly, rather than have it, and it gives us, brings us a thousand pound a year in rentals, <coughs> what we've got. For you know, village. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, right, I'd like a proposal for the uh, oh, January accounts, okay. please. I'll propose that. Pauline, can I see it? Yes. Yep. All in favour? Yep. Thank you very much indeed. Right, um, item 10 then, recreation ground. No, we request the support oh. for the ground performance. Sorry. Yes, right. Sorry. Mustn't you. forget that, you're heavily involved. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, each year we receive a, a request for support for the beer festival, which we have uh, for many years now um, given a donation towards uh, the cost of security. I believe the figure was 250, was that? Yes. So I'd like to propose that uh, we repeat that. I so certainly repeat it. I don't know whether we've that's been for some years at £250. Whether Mr. Chairman, you possibly should consider. Well, it hasn't been asked for. Mm, well, they haven't well, asked that's good. No, 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 that's, no, that's the, what they've asked for. But I know that they're they're, they're struggling financially, mm -hmm. really struggling. Yes. Can't, can't, can't we up it? Well, we've always been very careful not to uh, put, we might be putting our foot in it oh, if we sponsored a, a beer. Beer. Yeah. beer. So can I do the gift? So the, um, the, the, the idea is, I don't know who first suggested it. We were, there. We were very but temperate. We, that was, we, we, we obviously had members of the parish council who were absolutely adverse to us helping anything that um, supported 
drink in any, any way, shape or form. So that's why Mr Chairman said it was shown as security um, and we continue to do that. I mean, it all comes to the same thing in the end. So it's, yeah. it's on the sort of um, fours and against of the balance sheet. So um, they have to pay for security. But I'd like to suggest that we um, repeat. Yeah, yes. absolutely. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Fine. So now then we go on to uh, item 10, recreation crown matters, Mr. Vice Chairman. Right. Um, <laughs> a, a longish list, but firstly, the tarmac, um, the two paths, um, they are due to be done next month. It's been the weather, um, so much rain, the builders got a backlog. Um, I chased today and am assured that it will be done, or both paths will be done next month. Um, the Asheville Path, or Tarmac Path, in the recreation ground, the two smaller ones are breaking up badly and we've agreed that they need replacing. Um, we've patched and patched and they're cracking up now, they're brittle, they've got to be replaced. So that's the two paths. Um, the cottage being converted into um, a tea room, um, John Hill now is making enormous progress. Um, the stairs are in, the ceilings are in, um, he's waiting for the windows, he's agreed with planning the design, um, but they're a particular sash type window, so they're not going to be delivered until the end of this month, um, but then they will be going in together with the fan, um, and he's already made um, progress now. We were going to have decking um, between the cafe and the tennis courts, that actually is going to be sandstone paving, so it will be a much better surface, a more permanent surface. He's dug that out, there's a wall in, they're backfilling, um, so that's coming on extremely well. Um, we still have a little bit of a problem that um, one of the neighbours in particular um, is, is chasing Andrew, um, was chasing John initially um, because he wasn't aware of the planning, he wasn't aware that this was, it was being built was complaining that um, uh, the residents weren't aware of what was happening, they hadn't seen the notices. Um, the planning note, oh yes Clive, yeah, you know, Andrew can tell you more than I can. Um, so there's still an awkward situation there and, and Andrew suggested, and I agreed, that what he should do is to say, ask us a question instead of raising various points, tell us what it is. Um, you expect, well, what, what do you want? Um, so you haven't done it, but Andrew's going to because um, uh, they, they keep coming to us and asking about things, but actually saying nothing. So we'll try to get to the bottom of that, but John has got planning permission um, and he's following planning permission. Um, that's a difficult situation, but that is really coming on well. Um, and John will certainly have it ready for the coronation says yes. Christian. Lovely. Yep, okay. Um, right, I, we, we've once again the question of the, the small courtyard to the side of the cottage has come up and I've asked Pauling to please, um, even if we've got to spend some money getting plans um, or whatever it is, we need to establish if that's ours partly, if it's theirs completely, um, next to the cottage there's a small yard where the residents put their dustbins etc. A um, little bit of a mess, um, but at some time there was a question that one of the flats had either purchased half of it or all of it. And I assume, or not purchased it from us, but taken ownership of it in agreement with the parish council. But there's a, a grey area, and I've just said to Pauline, we must get it resolved because what I'd like to do, if it does belong to the residents, and yeah, there's a little bit of inconvenience to them, when John's finished the cottage, I will suggest and propose, and we're looking at tidying it up, getting it nice, so okay, for the residents, thank you, we built this, a little bit of um, disruption for you, not a lot, but we'll make your area where you keep your bins nice, but we're not certain if it's their area or our areas. And I just said, we really need to bottom it out as quickly as is possible, um, to know what, what we can and cannot do. But that's coming on really well. I have an answer for you. You do? I, can I, well, I contacted Liam, but um, 
Now registering. Lovely, yes. Filled the forms out, sent it off, paid for that. And um, he sent me a thing here, but I've now got to get a hold of the Nottingham office. Oh. It looks like it might still be out. Good, if it is but out there. There's two areas, but it says that it hasn't changed since 2002, so I've got to check. Doesn't look like that person bought it. Right. But I have Lovely. got two numbers there that I need to check at a different office. Thank you, Paul. To, uh, so I can hopefully let you know by the end of the day. That's good. No, I mean, it really, we, we That's need what to, me. to bottom that out. So if we, if we know that and it's ours, then my suggestion will be once a cap is done, we say we'll, we'll, we'll tidy it up, we'll put some yeah. proper paving in there. Yeah. They can still use a bit of dust and etc. But allow them, we, but allow them to use ours, yes. That's yeah. it. Yes, yeah. Yeah. It looks like it might be joint, joint ownership on part of it, so I need to get that. Well, that's because there was a red line, and I think it's where there was a lean-to there at some time. But anyway, no, it's, it's good, at least if we can establish it. Yep. So that's good, but the cottage is certainly coming on really well. Ownership mm -hmm. of the yard, yes, problem. Thank Football. You. Thank you for that, Paul. You're yep. welcome. I shall find out for you. I've got the numbers anyway, so I can... Right, Football <laughs> Rangers, very, very happy, working well. Um, weather's been against them, unfortunately. It's been awfully wet, but um, as you can see, the... the, the, the the pitches are being used. They've had a problem with regard to grass cuttings. They've been cutting it. They were taking it to Barham. Um, it's now become a bit of a pain for them. Um, and um, David Beanie, I've had two or three chats with David on, on a number of things, um, and he has offered to put a skip there. He will empty it for them um, once a month. Um, it'll cost them £100. He'll take it up to Gusson, where he's got a site, and he'll put the grass cuttings there. They're delighted with that. If not, they'll take the bags up to Gusson um, themselves, but that means they've got to borrow someone's open. But sure. David Bean has been really helpful um, and is very, very supportive. And you obviously mentioned he has today contacted the Football Federation to say mm. what is happening. Um, they're holding up granting planning permission. They won't let the council pass the planning permission on refurbishing of the showers because they want showers for football. The football um, teams now. Yes, the yeah, and the football team. So they know that. We had a meeting in December and we said we'd wait until tonight. We hadn't heard we'd write to them, but I've said with the chairman's um, agreement, my proposal is let's wait for DDC to get an answer. Um, they're more, I think they'd be more responsive to DDC um, I deliberately cut out of being chairman of the meetings because I found it very difficult to do with the lady in charge. Pauline's much more diplomatic than me and handled the last one. And I think I thought we'd got a long way, and then two months and she's she's not come we back. We got quite well with them. They were quite in yes, agreement. And yes. Nothing. <laughs> yeah. So, but that the football is good. It's working well. They're delighted, Rangers, um, which is good. Um, signage in the rec, um, there were various signs needed, um, advice to parents about supervising their children, ages of children, and, and um, fair play or safe play have put that, put that signage in place. Um, it covers the gym equipment, because again we had nothing to say, if you use it, be careful. Because if somebody hits on and does something, you know what it is, well you didn't tell me that this was dangerous what I was doing. So we're trying to get ourselves absolutely correct and right in everything we're doing. Um, I am speaking to the dog warden to clarify the signage at the lower road gate end because it says dogs are not allowed, dogs are allowed. Dogs are allowed now, they, they've altered the planning, they're allowed. Um, oh, they haven't altered the sign yet? The signs are still as they're saying no oh. dogs. Oh, it does say, but if you go if you go in, um, dogs aren't allowed in the children's play area on the play. So it does say that at the bottom, but the first sign, the original, so it's there, no it's dogs. There. So I, I, I want to get, I want to go through them and get the signs because with the cafe coming and with football and the playground being used extensively, adults watching their children, they have to have a dog, have to stand at the lower gate, which is so not practical, not possible. Plus, we've got a car park yeah. that people can't get to. If they've got a dog, they can't take the dog back to the car or vice versa. Did DDC not put the new sign? 
Exactly. They have, but they've left the old ones up. Up. So, up, yeah. Up, up, um, up, 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 up to where? Up to where? Up to the Up to, up to the white barrier. barrier. Yeah, as yeah, so far as... The barrier. The barrier, yeah. yeah. So You've you got could technically stay there and watch your kids. Yeah, that's correct. That's, that's the whole idea. They can watch children in the in the play area. But not um, on the grass. No. Not on the grass, okay. no. And it says that. But yes. the first sign says, no dogs. Do you want me to get Robert to co contact him? No, I, I've actually contacted him today. He's going to give me a call. And I said, we'll go on site because you need to, to look at them and say, this one needs to come down. We may need extra signage on the barrier or something. This is yeah. the, nothing beyond here. But um, no, people have said to me, oh, I thought you could come in. I was talking to a little, little lady the other day. Um, uh, she was talking to um, a Mrs. Starling, a uh, very knowledgeable lady, lives in Lewisham Road, um, lovely lady, and this little lady with this dog, but she was saying, oh, well, Robin had been telling her off because when the fish and chip van is in there, she brings her dog in. He said, You can't really do that. Yes, she can. Yes, she can. I know, but okay. that's Robin telling her. And she was so a little bit of confusion, but I, I, that will be sorted this week. Good. The signs will be sensible. That um, makes more sense now. Yes, Rather yes. With the fish and chips yeah, as well. Yeah, the changed yes. the documents. Yep. So, so that's good. So, no, on the recreation man, a lot happening, but it's, it's, it's all good. And I say football is taking off. It really is. Good. Yeah. Yep. So that's the recreation man. Um, hopefully, planning permission, and then you can cool. roll your sleeves up and <laughs> get that built. Well, I hope to come back on that, hopefully, by the end of the week. I'm yes. Mm. Okay. Well, keep your... Any uh, questions? Oh, sorry, yes. Yeah, yep. Keep your eye on that um, a, a potential reply <coughs> yes. on the football. Yes. Federation yes. Worship. Yes. Well, the Football Federation is difficult. Sport England is different to the Football Federation. Mm. And Football Jeff Federation was really so... Right. You're going to look, you know, he, he was terrified that Rangers would pull out. Mm. Or we would say to Rangers, no, we can't. Can't give you what you need. Um, she wants that 10-year plan as well. Yes. Oh, plan. yes. Oh, yes. She wants to know... She wants to protect Rangers, but we're giving them an, a, an open-ended licence or agreement. But... So no, rest is moving well, but I'll it quickly moving, post it, so yes. Yeah. Thank you. Hopefully it's slowly. Okay, that's, uh, that's fine. Any, any questions for Nick? No? no. Right, um, number 11. Down improvement project. I don't think I, this is the um, article that Oh, the Obviously, one you um, said, yeah. isn't here to on that project, but this is yeah. the article that will be published in the rival. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't, did I send this around? I don't know if I sent it around or not. So it did there. go around. Actually, I've got a copy of it. Oh, right, okay. Should, could I, Mr. Chairman, just. Patrick Gunsey rang me today. ASA wasn't coming, but he then rang me back to say, well, by the way, I'm not happy with the scheme mm -hmm. to put weed in the river. Um, at the bit of river outside my house and the neighbours is running, it's it's full of trout, it's fresh running, we don't want weed there. So I said, well Patrick, are you saying all the residents? No, he said, but you know, um, my immediate neighbour's not happy and I'm not happy and I want to see more um, expert opinion on it. And I said, well, I, I think that's what we've got. But just so, so you know that Patrick is... I don't think it's going to be in all the river. It was just certain bits of it, wasn't it? Sorry? I think it was certain bits. Certain areas, certain yes, areas. yes. And, and I've said, look, it's, it's going to be done. Um, we're, we're, we're doing this in conjunction with um, the environmental agency. They know exactly what we're doing. Um, but I'm just aware that this is going to go into the rival and... I said, well, Patrick, you know, we, we've discussed it, and as far as I'm concerned, we'd all said it was a good idea. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, but Patrick is not happy, Mr. Yeah. Chairman. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think it would be for for um, Lynn. Yeah. We one of our parish councillors, uh, one of the absentees tonight, is um, a, a great river affectionado, chalk streams in particular. It's a big. Sort of thing, Passion, yeah. And um, he has um, really taken this on. And uh, what they've come up with, uh, a consultation with the um, 
River Tower Preservation Society or something like that, um, that they really think that um, they've got some uh, ideas about improving the quality of the river. That's it, isn't it? And uh, this, I think, is a sort of a, a, a copy of an article that's going in the current Rival, which uh, sets this out. We discussed this at some length at the last meeting, but uh, one of our members who's uh, backs onto the river, he's not very happy about it. But I think... For what, uh, for what reason? Yeah, have you said why? Well, it's the Greek, he doesn't... Want he it. says the water behind them is, is, is free running, it's running quickly, um, the stream is, is gravel on the bottom, which a lot of the river uh, bed isn't, um, and they don't want or need weed clogging it up because it will slow it down. But that's the whole idea. Yes. That, yes. Just legally, I'm not quite aware of this because Patrick claims that he owns that river. No, he doesn't. He's, he's got I can't really hear him, hear him like it's slightly different. No, he doesn't. Yeah. He doesn't. He can't well, then he can't say anything Nobody. against it. No. They don't no, want to put it in all the places, just certain areas that need... But if we do it, we'll rip it out, Patrick, isn't it? Say again? We will, we will rip it out again. Well, well I, I, I don't think we will it. It'll it. be planted in baskets. Um, I, I would think not, but my, I just wanted to make everyone aware yeah. that he's wrong me. Oh, I, and yes. I am aware of that. Particularly, so. um, <laughs> he was going to speak to, to, to Mike. He hasn't done since the last meeting. He spoke to me, I got him Mike's number, he didn't have it, and he's not spoken to him, not bothered, but um, no, I'm just aware that so this is Mike? going into the rival. Mike? Michael, yeah. Um, Innes. 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 Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. But he wanted to ring him to, yes. to, to talk it through. He's never done that. But he's just saying that he mm. is not happy. And I said, well, as far as I'm concerned, Patrick, we've actually agreed to this and we're pushing ahead on it. Yeah, I mean, we voted on this, haven't we? Yeah. Well, so I thought we had, but we did not. To, I was a little bit nervous. I'm thinking, have I ever, have I? No, we voted on that. We voted yeah. it. Yeah. Sorry. Why? Yeah. Why has? So, because I'm yeah, yeah, really. thinking about why has it lost? Why has this stretch of the river lost its function? Do we it's know? It's a combination of things. They it's think it's well, it's yeah. the flow. Water is being. Um, extracted from it, it's been very dry yeah. um, over certain periods, and the wrong and, weed has grown. Yeah, the wrong, the wrong weed has grown as a consequence, and they need to force the proper weed back in. And the idea is they will be planting baskets with this weed all, all the way along yeah, the river. It, it but it won't stagnate the water. It, it mm -hmm. won't, won't. If you look at the path and the, where the dive goes yes. through there, it's absolutely fantastic. It and is. Yes. Yes. And that's, of yes. Wildlife there. And that's what they're trying, or this is what Mike Ennis is trying to do, yes. is to recreate that in river. Um, so no, I, I mean you're happy, you said we did vote on it, because I was yeah, thinking, is it, is it me? Yeah. Um, right. And we've got, so we, um, if we, you know, if we do this later in the year with permission, they want volunteers. Yeah, well that's calling for the volunteers. We've got the police cadets, we yes. just have to give them know, a bit it, it would be nice to have a few people from... Oh, yeah, it is, yeah, but I mean, we need them as well, the police yes. units, but oh, I'll yeah. do this sort of thing. Just, I would really like to see a few bit of a boot from River yeah. and the police could do it. Yes. And well, I think it's, well it's, it's terrific what he's come up with yeah. and his suggestion. Yeah. But he called me and kind of rubbed his by, and I said, sounds good, brilliant, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, without Michael, uh, being with us tonight, so I don't think we can do anything else. No, this, this is going to go into the rival. Yes. And I will yeah. ring Patrick and say, Patrick, you know, we, we are going ahead with this. We will yes. we will take advice on it certain areas mm. if it is going to be detrimental, but it won't be us, mm. it will be Mike or the, the experts. Yes. Um, not us and not Patrick and his neighbours. But it's, uh, yeah. it's, it's, it's a parish council yes. um, yeah. yeah. scheme. Yes. Yes. The parish council are involved with we we've agreed it. But, okay. so, but Mike's done terrific work on it, not yeah. I mean, yeah. he? He loses me, he's so enthusiastic. Yes. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> right, <laughs> item 12. Um, to discuss potential speakers. 
Um, perhaps for your benefit, Sir Lynn, um, we have, as I mentioned outside, we the, the parish council sort of stops in May every four years, and this is one of those years, and um, we all have to stand again. But uh, during the um, the process of doing this, we have two meetings in there, and. Um, local residents were invited. They have attended in diminishing numbers um, over the years, culminating in last year when we didn't have a single local resident. Can I make a bow for the public speaker, so now if we get everybody up, I'll wear my dog. I mean, it would have been uh, even more embarrassing had we got a speaker yes. along. So I am... Um, undecided uh, at the moment about having inviting a speaker. I know that might seem a little bit negative, but um, I would not want to have the embarrassment of last year. So um, I would suggest that uh, we hold this item over to the next meeting, March, which will be in time, it'll still be two months before. And um, anybody that's watching this um, programme uh, as a local resident, um, if anybody has got um, something to say um, about uh, two things. One, coming along, uh, whether they intend to come along to the meeting. Okay. You're all invited as always. Um, please come along um, because we want to see you there. Um, but if we go ahead and invite a, a guest speaker and uh, we don't have the support of the local residents, it's going to be extremely embarrassing. So I think um, that's the way I see it. Christian? It's, it's just a few days after our big health day out and I would maybe, maybe it would be an idea, and it's safer, to ask Michael to... Maybe we could maybe do a little slideshow what, what happened on that day and why we did it for the AGM. For those who haven't been on the Big Help Out Day. We oh could, yes, that's home, yeah. It's just a, a speaker from us then. Michael. Probably more than happy to say something I'm sure about his yeah. favourite topic. Um, put, we could put a few slides of that day up. Mm. So it's going to be focused on the river? Yeah, well, mm. it, it would be amazing. just a little it's bit of a, main a, a yes. what we did there, just to mm. explain it and show what we did. Yeah. It's just a, it's it's safer if nobody comes. It's well, nice for us to look at it. Mm. Well, so I'll know. tell you what. I've, <laughs> and I've if had some people are there, it's quite interesting. Mm. But I have, uh, hopefully... Um, thrown out uh, an invitation to local residents here uh, from this meeting uh, to give us an indication as to um, the likely support that we can get from our local residents mm. for this uh, meeting in May, on May the 18th, I think, yeah. isn't it? Um, yeah. And what we'll do, we will decide at our next meeting in March whether or not, depending upon the support that yeah. we um, I mean, I see. Find that people from our local schools, churches, yeah. etc., they are looking for our support more than, more than once or twice. Yeah. I, I find they, they should be showing their faces to our HM yeah. once a year mm. for fairness and for interest with what we're doing. Mm. Okay, well, look, let's decide on whether we're going to do what you suggested, Christiane, which seems like a practical right solution mm. to it. Well, it, it'll be less embarrassing yes. if Mike speaks to no one than an outside speaker. Yeah. Um, yes. uh, and I'm being wicked when I say that. You know, Mike is one of us. So, mm. um, But also for, for Lynn's benefit, I mean, we are looking at making the river our project for the king for the coronation. Yes. Um, we're looking to do something and we all thought environment close to his heart. So that's why we are pushing hard on that. this getting the river as it should be. Yes. Because that would be something and we've even said hopefully we're gonna 
involve the local school, etc. In it, um, but that is our our aim. So the river is 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 very close to um, all that we want to do. And I think Christian's idea actually is it's possibly very very sensible and very yeah. safe, and it wouldn't be embarrassing if we didn't get anyone there. It would be, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. But yes. Well, let's yeah. confirm yes. at the next meeting. Well, we need to ask um, Michael first if we would. Do that. Oh, yeah. oh I'm sure. Oh, I'm, sure. I, 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 I'm not a betting man, but yeah. I put money on it. Yeah. Yes, it's okay. he loves his river. Right. Item 13. Uh, to discuss any nominations for the KALC Community Award Scheme. Um, for your benefits, um, Jim, once a year, parish councils are invited to nominate somebody in their community one person um, who has given some sort of <coughs> notable service or contribution. And uh, we haven't always done it, but uh, we've um, done it for the last few years. And uh, this time, at the last meeting, <coughs> um, we had uh, one couple came up. But uh, I think we're going to have to, if we do this, we're going to have to, we only have one, one certificate. So, um, yeah. can't just do a couple. No, it's probably one person. Why? It's the rules. The couple we suggested <coughs> were, were the Horribles, <coughs> they David used to be. and Dee Horribin, who did, they were parish councillors, did an awful lot and still, still do bits and pieces mm. in the background. At the last meeting, um, Patrick. Was on, he didn't know them, but I have, he's obviously had their resume, and he said to me, absolutely back them 100%. Mm. So Patrick was so we can hesitant. Well, it does say you can nominate a group, so I mean, I could ask them as the two people at the same address. Yes, yes, yes. 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 I mean, I could yeah. ask them. They work with them now, they. Yeah. I'll ask, I can ask them. Yeah. And if you uh, emphasise that they are both ex parish councillors, yeah. I mean, it would be nice. Yeah, because uh, it would be nice today. But if you can do yes. a group, you yes. must be able to do it. Yeah, You must be able to do it if they if they allow a group of people. Yeah, you must. They've got to a, they allow a group. Other, they allow a group. Yes. yes. <laughs> but I think you know, for me, they're absolutely <laughs> ideal candidates. One that I've known, we've seen <laughs> them work <laughs> over the years, and it yeah. would be lovely. Yeah. Still, we saw that there. We did. Yeah. Are we all agreed then? Yes. 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 David D. Yes. Horrible. David yes, D. David D. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, Andy. Yeah. He will find out, I guess. Yeah, if we possibly can. Mm. Right, just, item four. If not, just put D. Horrible and it's the worst one. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because. David D. So it's the big thing. Yes. God, that shows your age. Yes, oh gosh. Right, item 14. To receive any general correspondence. Received by the date of the meeting, including KCC services consultation. <coughs> There's a few consultations knocking around at the moment, um, but the KCC were quite keen on getting this one out. It's reviewing the community services to ensure they are run as efficiently, effectively, and sustainably as possible. Proposals include co location of facilities, more flexible outreach activities, reducing the number of permanent buildings, and making uh, making of the most of existing and emerging digital technologies to balance the needs of residents in well, Kent against the needs to reduce costs as one of the this measures. This is a consultation. Oh, 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 oh. Have, you all got, have you all got that? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's like those yeah, pop-up well, things that keep coming up now. Yeah. I mean, one of the main oh, ones in Dover, obviously, is the changes to the um, or loss of a theatre. Well, it's on hold at the moment, isn't it? Because they've been through the planning commission. Mm. Uh, so is there any, ch any changes subject to feedback from the public and a 10 week public consultation period uh, is in progress. Um, so you can, uh, there, it'll be an online thing, you can go online and, Sorry, consultation page, yeah, yeah. and have your say, as indeed can anyone in the community. Uh, there are some drop in events. Well, 
Yeah, there are other, mm. um, uh, DDC have a consultation on their budget okay. as well. So, so um, last item then, 15 items for information, including next committee meeting, which you, we've talked about before, 2.15, Friday the 10th of March. It's the right day, time. Yep. Right. It's, right, it's a rather odd 2.15 because the cost of the cafe doesn't get oh, closed with two o'clock. Oh, we with the latest. Right. Sorry, just, Mr Chairman, just one thing I didn't mention. The cut, Ashco close cut. Robin has cleared it again completely. Oh, and we've had a word and Robin has cleared it. So with his new that mower. is one that we've with always... Service mower. His service mower, yes. He didn't in my strimmer this time, <laughs> but, but he has cleared up and he said it was a real mess once again but he he has cleared it up so mm -hmm. we we've once again done that okay. yes right well if there's nothing else um i declare this meeting closed this time 8 40 30. Yeah, breaking records yeah.